Now, this man hardly needs to be introduced at all. Oscar winner Richard Taylor set up Weta Workshop and Digital with his wife Tanya 20 years ago. And uh, now he's world famous, of course, for his work on such movies as King Kong and The Chronicles of Narnia and, of course, the Lord of the Rings trilogy. We don't really see you as an entrepreneur, or shall I say, we have failed to see what must have been there in terms of entrepreneurship uh, with, you, with you and your colleagues. We see you as movie, successful movie artists and craftsmen, but you built a business, didn't you? Correct. Well, you know, we, we celebrate in our creativity the unique culture of, uh, of, of New Zealand and what that brings to our work, but of course it all has to be held up by a good solid business. and. Uh, that's been an education for us. We come from a creative background and our love is in making film and making creative products, but, but you don't get to make it if you haven't built infrastructure. Tell me how you started. It's a wonderful story. You and Tanya started making, what, puppets or special effects or... Well, models and puppets, I yeah. guess. In uh, a flat, in a flat. Yeah, in the back room of a little flat in Hatai. Now, see, I have trouble with this. Why in this country, where there was no great film industry really going on, where there's a limited television industry, or why would you think of making puppets and creatures in a flat and well, expecting to earn money? Well, we, we decided in our mid-teens that that's what we wanted to do with our lives. We both had grown up around a, short, a sort of sheddy mentality with our dad building things in the garden shed. At that age, I didn't really even know that the film industry existed, so I didn't see that as the potential outlet for our work. But on moving to Wellington, we realised that that is where a potential future lay. And so we just started making stuff and presenting it to potential clients. And over, slowly over the years, um, that client base grew. Uh, ultimately, of course, we got to meet Peter, and uh, that is probably the most pivotal moment in our professional careers because in him we discovered someone willing to push all boundaries of creativity mm. and, uh, and have enjoyed that ever since. But you don't work entirely with Peter. Peter's a partner in Weta, I think. He went into partnership, uh, you and Tanya and um, Jamie, Jamie Selkirk, Selkirk and Peter in 1994 formed Weta mm -hmm. Workshops. But of course, Weta works for all kinds of people. I mean, has clients everywhere. Yes. Give us an example, I mean, give us an idea of the breadth of the business, who you provide services to. Well, I, to show the breadth of the business, it's important to acknowledge that we're both a service provider in film and television on the local and international market, uh, working on films such as King Kong for Peter, but also Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe, or iRobot, or Van Helsing, or any number of films. Uh, we're also working with young New Zealand directors, uh, Jonathan King and his wonderful movie Black Sheep that's shortly uh, going to hit our uh, screens. But also it's our view that if we want to expand and if we want to see uh, the creativity within our country flourish, then we as a company need to focus on our own intellectual property development. We've set up a merchandising business, we have a publishing arm, we have a commercial chain mail manufacturing company, but most importantly, we've started our own children's television production company in the hope of making our own television for the world market. Which you've done. Which we have in, certainly got going on. We've just delivered the final episodes of our first season of Jane and the Dragon, our television show that we make with Martin Bainton. Right, but it's not on in New Zealand. Not yet, but it will be early next year, which is exciting. But go back to the part, I want to know, I want to know your business story. I mean, what was the interest in the puppets and making creatures? Well, I think it's important, Paul, to appreciate that it's not been driven by a business uh, mentality. It's been driven by a desire to make things. You know, if there's fantasies knocking around in your head, the only way you're going to realise them is with your hands. You're going to have to make them and deliver them for your own uh, entertainment. And uh, my, myself and Tanya were always driven by the desire just to make stuff. And uh, thankfully, we found a business in that. Uh, because, of course, with business, it allows you to continue to grow and formalise what you do and also find others. But how are you going to earn a living? I mean, if you wanted to make things, why not make tables and paint them bright colours? Why not um, make innovative couches or new innovative office chairs and so forth? Why critters? Because I have a love of school.
sculpture. I, uh, I realized from a very early age I wanted to be surrounded by sculptural things, as odd as that may sound, but today when I walk into the workshop, we've managed to fill the place with beautiful sculptures done by the talented people uh, that work with us. And uh, the, the best way to have commercialized the desire to make um, these creatures, these sculptures, these these entities was uh, was within the television and film industry. In what way are you an entrepreneur, if you had to think about it, because of this competition? Uh, I guess I guess it's because we have taken a um, uh, we've taken creativity within the New Zealand um, entertainment industry and been able to take it out to the world stage and, and to conquer the world. Well, I would. There's a lot of very clever people in the world, and uh, you know, there's, I think there's no doubt that um, the spectacular abilities of the people that we've been fortunate enough to work with have certainly made their mark on the world stage. When you first started doing movies, you and Tanya providing services for the movies, and this was mainly what puppetry, creatures, special effects, miniatures, and such yeah. like, and computer special effects as well. Not until uh, about five or six years into our business were we able to purchase that first computer which was the foundation of Weka. It's what brought Jamie and Peter, Tanya and I together as a business group. What's the proportion of businessmen versus artists in you, do you think? In me? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you must, I mean, you deliver on time. You deliver products with amazing integrity. I've seen Gandalf's sword you showed me one day. It's like a piece of jewellery. Um, but you got it done, you paid for it, what you've done is made money, a lot of money. So you're successful in that sense as well as being creatively brilliant. Do you know what I mean? I mean, you, 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 you must have reasonably good business sense in there. Well, it's hard to measure it against anything because um, I, haven't, I haven't had any formal training in that area. Mm. Um, so it's been operated through gut instinct by just playing out each day. But of course also in recent times gathering around us other business minded people that can give good advice and sound um, process. And uh, of course I also share a partnership with um, two exceptional people, Jamie Selkirk and Peter Jackson, who are both uh, very, very um, uh, you know, very, very clever, business-minded people. Hedging around it a bit, aren't I? <laughs> well, no. Well, it's a tricky one, because I, I actually don't know what, uh, what that measure is. Maybe 90%, 10% creative to business, but my, my view of it is always, if you deliver a great product, good business will follow. If you produce something that, that the client wants and is, is happy to pay for, uh, because you're delivering the best you possibly could, then they will come back for the next job. Has it been hard work? Well, I think all small New Zealand business growing is hard work in any walk of life, but it's our hard work, so we don't dwell on it, because we're doing it and it, it's fun. You know, every morning I open the doors of the workshop and lying in front of me is this amazing creative opportunity. And, um, you know, sitting here at 41 years old, I've had 20 years in the New Zealand film industry, and I feel blessed. I feel very, very lucky that I've been offered that opportunity, and out of it we've been able to um, enjoy such a creative uh, outlet for our work.